A groundbreaking study has shown that the best way to absorb iron is from legumes and from certain vegetables and a few fruits and things. Do what Popeye did, eat your spinach, right? Yeah. Because it was true. And some of these study, this study that was done really does show some of the physiology of what's involved with iron uh, studies and how iron is absorbed into the body. These were done at Children's Hospital in Oakland in a wonderful uh, study. And what they basically showed is that iron that's in plants and in legumes is much more available for the body because it comes packaged in about a thousand iron molecules. It's, it's, it comes in a form uh, that is called ferritin, a plant ferritin, which is a protein that binds all these iron molecules and they easily absorb across the gut as opposed to when we take a supplement when individual iron molecules come across and they don't have all the side effects that the supplements do because and some people get GI distress don't they if you give a baby 10 or 15 iron tablets it's lethal okay they'll have GI bleeding that won't quit because it's such an irritating substance to put into the stomach and yet babies need it for their brain development and it's another reason why it's good for pregnant uh, women to take iron you have to and and the problem is is women generally don't have enough of it because they're menstruating right and if they're pregnant uh, they may not have as much iron as they need and the baby's brain will suffer because it won't develop as it normally should and yet when we get older in life the problem becomes for a lot of people too much iron the so we, way, get, we get caught in this place where too much or too little are really serious. It can increase our risk for cancer for one thing. Cancer and, and it causes inflammation. You have the recessive gene for hemochromatosis which at least five percent of us have. That's a staggering number. That is a lot. You're looking at premature aging because it causes inflammation and that speeds up the aging process. So too much iron is a big issue but too little is also an issue and that's what we're focused on in this particular presentation. We need it to build up our hemoglobin in our blood to carry oxygen to our tissues. Exactly. And when people are anemic and they don't have enough iron they can get weak and tired and irritable. Well it's just not healthy and yeah. so on, uh, we have a few tricks uh, for how to get iron to absorb better. One thing is of course to eat your greens and your legumes. Another is to take maybe a little vitamin C because vitamin C speeds the absorption of that supplement across the intestinal tract <coughs> and uh, that will help us to keep our iron levels where they should be. Also legumes include peas and lentils and beans uh -huh. and also a few other things like carob and alfalfa and <laughs> right well <laughs> and see yeah. there are lots of nuts and seeds that it includes and it includes uh, peanuts too. <laughs> okay, well, so you don't have to just eat meat to get your iron. Iron comes in a lot of things. Well, besides spinach, it comes in green peppers mm -hmm. and peaches and, and raisins. Well, and if it's in the soil, and in the soil, and you're eating what grows from the soil, chances are you're going to get plenty of iron. So when we look at, at uh, the best way to maintain the right amount of iron in our bodies, it's dietary. It's not looking, it's not turning to supplements. Of course, if our iron levels are low, it's because we're bleeding. Almost always the cause of iron deficiency is from uh, bleeding rather than from diet. Although on a global level, when we look at the most common deficiency that there is when it comes to a mineral, it's iron. And that becomes something because there's a lack of intake of iron in many places of the world. So for those of us in this country, in the U.S. or in other mainstream uh, countries that are developed, Eat your vegetables. All those legumes will, will do a service for you. And they're not expensive. <laughs> right. It's a good way to keep healthy and to live in, in concert with Mother Nature. If you do that, chances are you're going to be healthy, you're going to have plenty of iron, and you're going to feel good. <laughs>